Today, let's discuss the simple theory of a deuteron. Uh, we did have a detailed discussion on uh, the deuteron, and the deuteron is the simplest state of a bound state of a neutron and a proton. So, in this session, uh, we will be discussing or we will be arriving at uh, the binding energy of a neutron and a proton with the help of simple solution of a Schrodinger equation applied to a three dimensional square well potential. So here before going to the detailed theory we have to have a discussion on the figure describing the bound state of a neutron and a proton. Here the experimental observed and theoretically predicted properties of neutron could agree with each other when it is treated quantum mechanically. For the purpose, let us assume neutron proton potential in the neutron as a three dimensional square well as shown in the figure. Here the figure or the graph shows three regions, region 1, 2 and 3 with the inter-nucleon distance that is distance between neutron and proton along x-axis and the potential energy V along y-axis. So here you can notice the uh, stable deuteron is represented by region 2 where it uh, remains within a square well potential having width uh, r. So this is a boundary of the neutron beyond which this potential of a neutron proton system comes to zero. That means the neutron proton system is no, lo no longer stable. And before region 2, that is in region 1, this neutron proton distance is less than the stable one that means they are repulsive to each other. So when they are repulsive to each other there also this neutron proton system remains unstable. So the only region where the neutron proton system that is a neutron, a neutron uh, is stable is a region 2 where there is it, it, that it is in, inside a square well potential. So here we have to apply Schrodinger equation to this square well potential with the potential V0 uh, to find out the binding energy of a neutron and a proton. So next we will pass on to a brief explanation of a this brief description of uh, this graph and afterwards we will go to the uh, simple uh, solution of a uh, Schrodinger equation. Now we will go to the solution of Schrodinger equation to find binding energy of a uh, neutron. Then the uh, wave function represented neutron is actually psi of r. But if we take the radial part of the wave function psi of r, then the psi of r and radial part which is uh, de designated as u of r, then psi of r and the u of r is related as psi of r is equal to u of r by r. Then we can go to the Schrodinger equation representing the system in terms of a u of r as d square u of r by dr square plus 2m by h cut square e minus v0 of r u of r is equal to 0. Let us take it as equation number 1. The square one potential graph of deuteron explains as follows. In region 1, nucleons are at a distance which prevents them getting closer to each other. That is, when the proton and neutron go closer towards each other then there exists a force of repulsion not force of attraction that means the neutron proton combination cannot exist as a bound state of a neutron the radius of this hard core can be assumed as a c we take square well potential to 
study deuteron because of its uh, simplicity in the figure the core radius c the width of the square well r and depth of the potential well v0 are treated as adjustable parameters the wave function u of r is 0 in region 1 in the graph in region 2 the potential of a square, uh, potential of a, a square well is v is equal to minus v0 and the binding energy is equal to minus eb the binding and uh, from the experimental data we have found eb is approximately equal to minus 2.225 mev uh, which is very close to the surface thus the bind uh, schrodinger equation modifies to d square u by dr square plus 2m by h cut square into v0 minus eb of u of r is equal to 0 for r less than or equal to capital R. That let us take it as equation number 2. And in region 3 of the graph for which R is greater than capital R, V0 is 0. There is no potential uh, outside this square well. Now the Schrodinger equation modifies for the region 3 as d square u by dr square dr square minus 2 m by h cut square e b of u r is equal to 0. Let us take it as equation number 3. From equations 2 and 3 let us take k1 is equal to root of 2 m by h cut square v0 minus e b which is a coefficient of u of r m. And from 3, k2 is, let us take k2 is equal to root of 2m by h cut square uh, eb, which is coefficient of u of r in the region 3. Next, we have to find the solution for Schrodinger equation in region 2 and 3, that is for equations 2 and 3. The general solutions for Schrodinger equations in region to let us examine the general solution for Schrodinger equations in a region 2 and 3. In the region 2, uh, the solution is of the form u of r is equal to a sin k1 r plus b cos k1 r uh, where r is less than or equal to capital R which is the radius assumed radius of deuteron or uh, the width of the square well. Potential square well potential uh, uh, square well and here uh, for the region 3 the solution of Schrodinger equation is uh, u of r is equal of the form c e raised to minus k2 r plus d e raised to plus k2 r for r greater than r. So here we have to have two conditions that is r is equal to 0 or r tends to 0 and r is equal to infinity or r tends to infinity. At uh, these conditions, both of these conditions, u of r is a 0. For u of r is equal to 0, for r is, r is equal to 0 and r is equal to infinity, here we have to have b and d uh, equal to 0. That is when r is equal to 0, cos k1 r is 0, that becomes non-zero value but we have to have a zero value so there b should be zero r is equal to infinity this e raised to plus k2 r becomes infinity there we have to have d equal to zero so to keep the wave function finite for r tends to infinity we must have d is equal to zero for r tends to zero we must have b is equal to zero thus Solution for equation 2 is of the form u of r is equal to a sin k1 r at r less than or equal to capital R. And solution for equation 3 is u of r equal to c e raised to minus k2 r at r greater than r. But at r, small r is equal to r which is the width of the 
potential well both u of r and its first derivative must be continuous so that is the boundary condition we have to satisfy this boundary condition this therefore we can write a sin k1 r is equal to c e raised to minus k2 r let us take it as equation number 4 on differentiating for it becomes a k1 cos k1 r equal to minus c k2 e raised to minus k2 r equation number let us take it as equation number 5 and on dividing 5 uh, with 4 we get k1 cot k1 r equal to minus k2 r and uh, or cot k1 r is equal to minus k2 by k1 we have previously we have assumed k1 and k2 then substituting we get uh, k minus k2 by k1 is equal to minus root of 2m by h cut square e b by root of 2m by h cut square v0 minus e b the observed value of e b suggests that e b is very much less than v0 that is we have experimented value uh, approximately equal to 2.5 uh, elect uh, me thus we can have we can neglect e b compared to v0 that that is called k1 r is equal to minus root of e b by v0 that is 2m by h cut square cancel out and also comparing compared to v0 neglecting e b in the denominator we get the expression called k1 r is equal to minus root of e b by v0 this shows that code k1 r is small and negative and thus the value of k1 should be slightly greater than pi by 2 that is k1 r can assume values approximately equal to pi by 2 3 pi by 2 pi pi by 2 etc or k1 is approximately equal to pi by 2r 3 pi by 2r etc now let's write k1 is equal to root of 2m by h cut square v0 neglecting eb then root of 2m by h cut square v0 can be written as equal to pi by 2r comma 3 pi by 2r etc but k1 r is equal to 3 pi by 2 is not an acceptable solution so only first term is retained thus we can write to root of 2m by h cut square b0 is equal to pi by 2 r or 2m by h cut square v0 is equal to pi square by 4 R square removing the root, then v zero R square is equal to pi square h cut square by two m, taking radius of deuteron as two point one Fermi. Here substituting R as two point one Fermi, we arrive at the value for a depth of the potential well that is equal to thirty five MeV. This value justifies the assumptions that. E B is very much less than V zero. That is two point two two five is very much less than thirty five MeV. This shows binding energy of deuteron is very small and hence uh, nucleons are just barely bound. thus it's clear that the force between neutron and proton in deuteron is very weak and the bound neutron is very close to top of the well you can see the binding energy here fortunately formation of deuterium from fusion of hydrogen help our sun make its energy also the first step of the formation of stable matter that fill the universe hope the theory is clear for you thank you